Salsa means sauce in Spanish, and there are dozens of salsas made in Mexico. The jarred, tomato-based salsa that we know here in the United States dates back to the 1940s and was created by immigrant families in California and Texas. By the 1980s, it was everywhere with tortilla chips and incredibly popular. By the 90s, it was the most popular condiment in the United States, although I think it's more an appetizer. <laughs> I brought four medium salsas for you to taste, so you can dig in. Now, medium means it should have some heat. Some brands have bell peppers on the label. Mm -hmm. That's really, really medium. <laughs> I would say too medium. And that was one thing the tasting panel agreed upon, was they wanted a fair amount of heat, even in a medium salsa. Okay. So you're going to notice that some of them are thick and some of them are really thin. Mm -hmm. And we actually quantified this. We took 16 ounces of salsa, put it in a strainer, and you can see this was a pretty thick one, not that much juice. This was a very thin one with twice as much juice. Chunky or smooth, I personally am on Team Smooth because the chunky bits are going to end up on my shirt, are they yes. not? Or maybe your rug? Yes, <laughs> on her shirt. On my shirt. Oh, well, everything is on her shirt. I mean, you know. <laughs> Other tasters felt like salsa needs to have crisp bits of vegetables in it and that if it's perfectly smooth, what happened to the crisp bits of vegetables? So controversy left and right here. Other thing was what else besides tomatoes and onions are you tasting and the chilies, of course. I like a lot of other flavors. Garlic and cumin, yes, please. Yes. Some of these are made with roasted vegetables, so roasted tomatoes and onions and garlic, mm -hmm. and of course that gives it a lot of smoke. Yeah. So we have something for everybody here. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. Yeah. I'm enjoying this way more than I thought I would. I am loving these last two, C and D. They are totally up my alley. They're very different in terms of flavor. C, as you mentioned, roasted. It's smoky. I love that. I also love D. You can taste the cumin. You can taste the garlic. These, totally different style. I'm sure they have their fans. They're just not, not my thing. All right. I'm going to agree with you on one point. I also like D a lot. It does have that cumin. That mm -hmm. cumin just slaps you in the face, and I'm loving it. Now, this was good but it's, it's not for me for dipping the chip into oh, or a spoon. This one's a little too sweet for me, but yeah. I, I think I, I know people that love a sweet salsa. Yep, my daughter would love this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one has nice big chunks of vegetables, which I kind of like the crunch, but this one I would call like the salsa that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. That would be this one. So let's start with A. So A is pace. We dubbed this the crowd pleaser because in the tasting panel, people wanted the chunks more than not. It's got a decent amount of heat, mm -hmm. and it just said jarred tomato salsa to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And the vegetables that were in there, they didn't feel spent. Your daughter's gonna have B, okay, good um, to know. So, which is the Newman's own. Okay. This is the mild choice. It's mm -hmm. on the sweet side. It's got bell peppers. C is the Frontera. Yeah. And this is roasted everything mm -hmm. from our friend Rick Bayless's company, and it's bold. Yep. It's got a lot of smoke mm -hmm. and a lot of flavor. Some people loved it. Mm -hmm. I think that would be our friend Julia. It's really delicious, but it's a different style. Yep. And D was Mateos. And this is actually my personal favorite because I love the garlic and cumin, which you called out. It's smooth, it's got a lot of heat. It's just a delicious salsa that's going to stay on the chip if I just remembered to bring the chips. <laughs> That's right, yes. So, whether you want spice or smoke, thick or thin, there's a salsa for everyone. Take our recipes and reviews wherever you go with the America's Test Kitchen mobile app. Fail-proof recipes, unbiased equipment reviews, how-to videos, and a vibrant community of like-minded home cooks. With smart searching and handy tools, you'll have everything you need to create the most amazing meals. Download the America's Test Kitchen mobile app today. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our test kitchen recipes, and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.